Welcome to my video about the new version of OBS version 26 and the new feature in the new version of OBS called virtual video device. Now you might not know why this feature is so awesome, but first I'll tell you why it's awesome. And second, I'll tell you how to set it up. My name is Sargoon, uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Now let's just jump into it. Now, what is so awesome about the new virtual video device in OBS? You might think, well, I don't have any other video sources than my webcam or my DSLR. So why would I use this? Well, simple. If you stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, uh, you use OBS, whatever version of OBS you use. But besides streaming, you also might want to make some YouTube videos. Now, the only option you had to do that until now was recording your stream which has your camera in it, your overlays, the overlay sounds, the, the likes, the subscribes, which doesn't make for really good video when you put it up on YouTube. Now this new feature makes it so that OBS can not only record or send it to Twitch directly, but also can combine your entire video stream as a virtual video device on your PC, which another program can use. Now, the other program can be any sort of software, but if you're smart, eh, you can also use a second OBS and use the first OBS's output as input in the second OBS. Now, this is where the magic happens. Now, in short, that means that you have two OBS's running, one that captures your game and one that streams to Twitch. The one that captures the game will also output it, what it captures as a virtual video device and the other OBS that streams to Twitch uses that output as a video input and on which you can overlay your subscribers, followers and all everything you want to do with it. Now, if you're still with me and I hope you are because this, uh, this feature is awesome and you should use it, let me just show you how to set it up and what it means in practice. Now, here you can see what I'm on about. On the left side, we have an instance of OBS, totally empty, totally fresh, totally new. On the right side, we have another OBS, totally fresh, totally new. This is just to show you how this works. Now, the first, the left one, we're going to set up to capture a screen, a game, whatever you want to capture. But for our instances, we'll do a game. We'll add game capture, game capture name is all right. Capture any full screen application, just as you normally would add it and you're good. Now I've just started a game so I can show you what is going on, make things a little bit clearer. I started the game Hades. Now y'all know Hades, Hades is a great game. If you haven't played it yet, play it. But if I show you the source and I'll switch to Hades real quick, there you go. This is the game. If I alt tap out, this is now being captured as normal as you'd expect. Now, this is what you want to record with, with YouTube. But before you send it to Twitch, you want to overlay it with everything you got, your follows, your, your subscribers, everything you can imagine. Now, this is where the magic comes in. You have one OBS seen here that captures your game and you have one OBS that will be used to send everything to Twitch. Now, instead of start streaming button, you use the start virtual camera button. It's all you do. You just press the button and basically you're done. What you do on the other is you would add, just as you would your webcam, add a video capture device. Doesn't matter what you name it. And instead of my webcam that shows there, yes, it's a terrible webcam. I don't care. You select OBS virtual camera. Now it immediately works. You can set some settings if you want to, but Hey, you go. Okay. Now on my screen, it's a little bit too large. So I'll transform it and fit to screen and there you go. So now, as you can see, I have the left OBS that actually captures the video and I have the right OBS that 
captures the output of the left OBS. Now in this OBS, I can add overlays and whatever, but, or the right OBS, sorry. And in the right OBS, you can just start streaming with your normal settings and you have the video that you normally use. But on the left one, you can also start recording. And that way you record just your game video. And on the right, you stream that video, but with your overlay to Twitch. Now, the only thing you have to add to what I just shown is the audio. The name implies it's a video capture device. So no audio capture device. The only thing you have to add on the right OBS, the one that streams everything to Twitch, is an extra audio output capture. You can name it whatever you want. And you have to select the device that the game will output its audio to. Because the left OBS will supply the video, but you have to capture the audio of the game on your own. Now, that's the only thing you have to add. And usually it's just your speakers or your headphones, like my Astro A50s, which are great. Uh, I also have a Go XLR, so I can also use one of those. But usually you would just use your headphones, save that. And now you got your video, you got your audio, you got your overlays, and you can go to Twitch. Now, that was my entire video. It's just as easy as that, but I just wanted everybody to know this great feature because everybody wants to make good YouTube videos, but with uh, recording the overlays and sub notifications and everything, the quality does go down. It, it's not a nice watch on YouTube. And also you don't want to play a game twice. You want to use the awesome moments you have on stream, but not with all the extra stuff on it. And this way you can do it. Now there was, I, a full disclosure, there was an option to do this before OBS 26, which was the NDI plugin. Now this was an extra plugin supplied by uh, 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 another supplier, which was great, but it used a lot of system resources and this uh, uses a lot less. So yeah, happy gaming, happy streaming. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please join me on my uh, Twitch channel by the same name, Sargun. And um, I can answer any questions you have there. So yeah, happy gaming, happy recording. Have fun.